Yeah, so a lot of the myths and misconceptions regarding GMOs are just based on a misunderstanding of very basic genetics. All right, so this was a poll taken by Michigan State University in 2017. So it was a true or false, genetically modified foods have genes and non-genetically modified foods do not. 37% of respondents said that this was true. Obviously this is false, both GMO and non-GMO foods can contain genes and when we consume foods with genes, it's not changing our DNA. When we eat a banana, it's not turning us into a banana. Um, so these are just very common myths that are just based off of a fundamental misunderstanding of basic genetics. All right, so this isn't to make fun of anybody that would have gotten this wrong or the people that did get this wrong. Um, it just goes to show that there is so much misunderstood about GMOs and that's why it's so difficult to get the science-based information out there. People already have so many biases when it comes to this topic and it's really difficult to get people to actually learn about it and be open to questioning those biases. This was published in Nature in 2019, but basically it showed that extreme opponents of genetically modified foods know the least, but think they know the most. And so this really is the problem. It's education and the misinformation and the myths are being perpetuated by people that think they know the most, are very confident, but really know the least.